sneaking in back tonight. And tonight we've got Easy Peasy 1.6 for netbooks, based on 10.04 Ubuntu or Ubuntu Netbook Remix. Could be either. What do I know? Hey. But I've installed it on a desktop. So I'm using GTK Record My Desktop to do this for you. So it will look a bit different if it's gone on a netbook. But hey, let's give it a go through. So open up Firefox. I'll check in the BBC and we'll go to the BBC page. There you go. Comes up really, really quick. I mean, the boot times are really, really super, I must admit. And it, when you go to a web page, it's really, really fast. Can't knock it for that. And bearing in mind, the last time I used it, it was really, really rubbish, wasn't it? And I did slag it off a bit. This time, I can't really do that because it's rather good. So, hey. Eat meh, as I say. So, anyway, I'm going to put easy peasy in the, the Google bar and see if we can get back to their website. Now, there's lots of easy peasies here, but not the ones we want. So, right, what you want to do is get to easypeasy.com, and this is where you get it from and can read about it and do whatever you want to. Now, on the whole, it runs really, really nice, although when I installed my NVIDIA graphics drivers for it, it didn't really want to play ball. Not good, really. But there you go, it shows you how to download it, how to install it on your USB stick and put it on your netbook. Because it is for netbooks at the end of the day. What more can I say? like it. It wants me to take a, a survey. Well, not being funny, I ain't got enough time to do that. But I might do it in a minute when I finish this video. So yes, ooh, hungry during good. So let's go through with you. <clears throat> Evolution for Mel. Jeez, I still don't know why. Empathy. Ubuntu Software Center, super. For files, you can see all my other distros I've got on this hard drive. Blimey, too many. All my other sections, there's no recent files. Accessories. Yes, we have got calculator, character map, all the usual you would find in Ubuntu 10.04. But for a netbook, hmm. Whether you'd really need all this on a netbook is another thing. Now, Picasso, as you know, is a Google app. I'm not really happy about that, so we'll open it anyway. I mean, I would have rather had an F spot or something like that, but hey, if they want to put it on, it's not my problem, is it? I'm just here to show you. So I'll agree to the terms because it's not open source, is it? Really? So there you go. I've got no camera plugged in and I've got no photos on the system. I've just installed it and updated everything just to show you like, how it works. So I can get it from there. I can import from a folder, but there's nothing there because it's a clean system. Blimey. But hey, go. It works. Simple scan also works. I've used it in 104 on a, a love desktop. Gwibbo's there, Skype's there, transmission's there. I don't use torrents anymore myself, but hey. Why would you want to own a netbook? Really, no desktop for that. But hey, not my problem. Now, OpenOffice is the other problem I have with it. Why install OpenOffice when you could have a smaller, smaller distro like Abbey Word and GNumeric just to get the job done? Because Abbey Word is really small and so is GNumeric. OpenOffice, on the other hand, it's an enormous, enormous download. But hey, we'll go through it with you. I mean, that's what I used to do. It's saved to all the formats you want to do. XP or everything you want to do, look, everything's there to save to. But hey, that's not really what I want to do myself, but it's there if you want it. Obviously, you can uninstall it if you want to. I'll make it smaller. That's good for you. Recall my desktop. I'm using now to do it with you. I was going to use it as Exford Cap, but I thought oh, I'll give it a change. Banshee is your music player for today. <clears throat> now, I rather like Banshee, but I also like Limbox, so you know. Oh, it's a bit one of those for me. But there's lots of uh, preferences and extensions you can get for Banshee. And it comes with an equaliser as standard, which is the bit I really like. It supports all the iPod stuff and my storage. E music you can import, but I don't subscribe to it anymore because it was so crap. Yeah, there's not stuff I want to listen to. So, hey, my bad, as you would say. God, I'm too old to use that word. My God. Anyway, there's lots there for. Benchy, you can do videos and everything in it. We have to right click that because it stays open as Rhythm Box would do in Ubuntu anyway. But hey, yeah, on the whole, I really, really like it. Hmm. Now we'll go to the system. And as you can see, we, we'd normally have this in a uh, strip down on a menu, but it's all GUI here, so it takes a lot, a lot of processing power, really. I mean, mm, it's going to be a good way of doing this, and we ain't doing it, I don't think. 
because when I transcoded this video, it took an awful, awful lot of time. I'll go to the Update Manager anyway. I've already updated it anyway, but hey, it took ooh, about 15 minutes to update it all. Close. I mean, would you want Easy Peasy or would you want Ubuntu Netbook Remix? I don't know. What do you want to do? Let's see if I put my ad here. If I go to my system monitor. Yeah, it's no, using no RAM at all. But it's using quite a bit of CPU. Now, this is my test machine, which is a Pentium 4 3 gig. That means it only runs at 2.8 if it really wants to. And it's using quite, quite a lot of CPU here. But bear in mind that this is designed for the Atom processor. Uh, hopefully, the Atom processor, the dual core, or supposedly dual core, I don't know how they worked out. I must look into that. Hey, lots of processors going on here. So there's lots of stuff going on. And there you go. Test machine. Blah, 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 blah. One gig of memory. Most netbooks have one gig anyway, don't they? So, hey. Goody, goody, goody. But the only one at 1.6. Bummer. Ooh, yes. So, a little bit of lag there. Not too worried about that. But it runs really, really nice. I mean, I could actually use this, actually, on an older machine. But whether it's a wrong old machine as a desktop, I don't know. You know? You've got poor offices, modern monitors, mouse, you can change everything you want to, it's all in GUI. <sighs> I'm not sure. But I do like it. I do, actually, I do like it. Uh, from the last one I've done, the last one I've done for Easy Peasy, I did slag it off. Because it was so crap, in my opinion. But now it's okay. It's fine to use. So I'm going to go to Ubuntu One Music Store for Benchy, basically, and have a little look. Now, a few videos ago, or about two months ago, I showed you how to do this for Benchy and the repositories, which you have to do. You really have to do it if you want the option of using the Ubuntu One Music Store in Benchy. You can go to these sites, like, they'll show you. I'm just showing you, basically. Basically, show you how it works. No worries. Nice. What do you think? I do. <laughs> I'm getting bored now. Anyway, so we'll get out of that because I was bored. I'm just going to run through a bit, few more things. That's your favourites. That's your files. That's your accessories. If you've got a netbook, this was actually run really, really well, nice. Really, really nice. Apart from the games. Need more games than this man. It's, it's not on, is it? Even for a netbook. Most netbooks can run really good games. So I got bored of that. And I'll quit it. Just like that. Hey, anyway. Easy peasy 1.6. Very, very nice if you've got a netbook. But I wouldn't suggest it on your desktop. Unless you've got an older desktop that you don't know what to do with. You know what I'm saying? Of course you know what I'm saying. Sneaky Linux going out to play. See you later.